All right, welcome back to AP Statistics. I'm still not affiliated with the College Board. Uh, teach at a high school. My name is Dr. Kling. We're on our 14th lesson already, and we're on transformations of random variables. So you've got this random variable that's just walking down the street, not causing any trouble. All of a sudden, somebody decides to either multiply it by 10 or add 10 to it. So what happens to this poor random variable? And uh, let's think in terms of our seesaw. It's on a scale. And yeah, maybe from minus, I'll go from minus 5 to 5. And all of a sudden, everyone gets shifted over by 10. So we add 10 and we shift everyone over. So they were, let's say, here, 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 and here, and now they're going to move over all the way up to, let's say, here, 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 and here. So we shift everybody over. What that does is it moves our mean over, so this thing will move over to the right somewhere, the mean. But when it all is settled down, if we've just added the same thing to every variable, their distance from the mean will be what it was before. So our intuition is that the mean goes up by 10, but the variance, how far people are from the middle, since they've all shifted by the same amount, the variance is unchanged. On the other hand, if we, let's say we multiply by 10, then we are going to increase both the mean and the variance. And the variance. And if we increase the variance, we're also increasing the standard deviation. Which I will just abbreviate that way, standard deviation. Okay, so now <coughs> let me give the formula for that. Uh, a general way of thinking about that. Let's say we have a random variable x and it has a mu of x and a sigma of x. And then we create a new variable y is equal to a plus bx where a and b are constants. So a special case would be if b is 0, we are just adding. We're just adding a. Or the opposite case, if a is 0, we are just multiplying by b. Multiplying by b. So, uh, you know, so what's it, where, why would you ever want to do that? Well, suppose you had temperature in centigrade. So the average high temperature in centigrade in a certain area, let's say, is 26 degrees. Now you want to convert and the so that's your mu of x. Let's say your sigma x was equal to four. Now you want to see what happened. What would the now we have a new variable, let's say y is the temperature in Fahrenheit. So what do we know about the relationship between y and x? Well, the conversion factor is y is equal to 32 degrees plus 9 fifths times the centigrade degrees. Or let's, let me change that. Let me, since, it's, since I'm calling it using x and y, let's make that x. Okay, so the, so we have the mean of x is equal to 26. So let me put that down here. Mu of x is equal to 26. 
sigma x is equal to 4. So the question we have is mu of y equals what? And sigma of y equals what? Well, the mu, <coughs> using our, so it'll turn out that when we use this transformation, mu of y is equal to a plus b mu of x. A in this case is the 32 degrees, that's the constant we add. B is the 9 fifths. So we had mu of x is 26, so mu of y is equal to 32, that's our constant here, plus 9 fifths times 26. Boy, I wish I'd used 25. That would have made a nice uh, round number. But I'll let you multiply it out and add it up and see what the, uh, the, new, the mean in Fahrenheit is. And what would sigma y be? Well, sigma y, remember when we add a number like this constant here, or here, it has no effect on the variance or the standard deviation. The people on the seesaw are just, still just as far apart as they were before. So sigma y is simply equal to b sigma x. Let's get a little more blackboard space here. So sigma y equals b sigma x, and sigma x we said was 4. b is the 9 fifths. So this is equal to 9 fifths times 4 or 36 fifths or whatever that is, is 7.2, something like that. So that's, so we do see that the standard deviation gets bigger because of our multiplying. Multiplying spreads the people in the seesaw out. So the main lesson from this, this is a very, in some ways, very simple. I think the hard part is figuring out in the context of a problem that you are transforming a random variable. So when you have a transformation such that y, the new variable y is equal to a plus b x, and remember a or b could be zero. If a is zero, you're just multiplying. If b is zero, you're, b is zero, you're just adding. But okay, y equals a plus b x, then mu of y equals a plus b mu x. You use both the thing you're adding increases the mean and multiplying will change the mean and sigma y is equal to b times sigma x so the standard deviation is not affected by the constant by just adding a number but it is affected by multiplying the number and that's really all we had to do with list lesson Next time we'll go to uh, adding and subtracting random variables.